फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अभिव्यक्ति इंडिया फ्यूचर क्लासरूम इन टूडेज एपिसोड ऑफ सिंप्लीफिकेशन वी विल सी हाउ टू फाइंड द स्क्वेर रूट एंड द क्यूब रूट क्विकली हियर इज द फर्स्ट नंबर दैट यू हैव टू फाइंड द स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ फाइव हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी सिक्स Before that, you must know the squares of one to nine, and it is expected that you know it. You know very well the squares of one to nine, and the square of one is one, two is four, three is nine, four is sixteen, twenty-five, thirty-six, forty-nine, sixty-four, and eighty-one like that. Now just take the unit place digits of all these squares. That are one, four, nine, six, five, six, one, four, and one. These are the unit places of the squares from one to nine. Now just see how to find the square root of five hundred and seventy-six with the help of this given table or this known information. Just divide this. number into two parts draw a line after two digits unit place tens place and draw a line now here you see the number 5 number 5 is closer to which number whose square will be nearer to 5 so definitely 2 square is 4 and 4 is closer to 5 and therefore we will write 2 Now the take seventy six. Its unit place digit is six. And just see where six occurs. It is four four the sixteen and six six the thirty six. This you can orally check out. There is no need to draw a table or anything. Four four the sixteen, six six the thirty six. Means it should be twenty four or twenty six. So the square root of 576 should be 24 or 26. You can check it easily whether it is 24 or 26 by using a Vedic mathematics. Here, just find the square of 24. Square of 24 that will be equal to 4 square will be 16. Here it will be 1. Carry on 1. Then multiply all the three digits. 2 4 the 8. Eight to the sixteen and sixteen and one. This is seventeen. So carry on one. Now take the square of tens place digits. That is two square will be four. Four and one five. So it is five hundred and seventy six. And therefore the square root of five hundred and seventy six is twenty four. There is another method if you don't want to check through actual. finding the square of the number it is that here the number is 2 so after 2 which number comes it is 3 so 2 3 is a 6 correct now this number is 5 and this 2 3 is a this number is 6 so 5 is smaller than 6 means this 5 is smaller than 6 And since five is smaller than six, we will take the smaller number and not the bigger number, and therefore the square root of five hundred and seventy-six is twenty-four. Now here is the another number, seven thousand seven hundred and forty-four. This is a four-digit number, and we have to find the square root of this number. So as usual, divide this number into two parts. First unit place. Tens place and then draw a line. Now in the first part there are two digits seven and seven, so the number formed is seventy-seven, and in the second part it is forty-four. Now just check for the seventy-seven, the number whose square is closer to seventy-seven. So the number whose square is clo closer to 77 that will be definitely 8 because 8 8 is a 64 so 8 square 
that is equal to 64 and therefore we will take the number 8 which is closer to 77. Now in this number 44 the unit place digit is 4 so check here for the unit place digits where there are it is 2 2 is 4 and 8 8 is 64 that you can check orally or you can guess orally that the unit place digit will be in the squares of 2 and the in the squares of 8 as 8 8 is 64 and 2 2 is 4 so the you so you will take the numbers 2 and 8 so the two numbers will be 82 and 88 now here we have to check whether the 82 is there or 88 is there by actual calculation you can take the square of 82 as first unit place digit square that will be 4 2 2 is 4 then multiply all these three digits 8 2 and 2 so 8 to the 16, 16 to the 30, 16 to the 32, so it will be 2, carry on 3, now take the square of 8, 8 is the 64 and 3 67, so it will be 6, 7, 2, 4, so this is not possible, so which will be our number, it will be 88 and so 88 square will be 7744 and therefore square root of 7744 will be 88. Now our another method is that we have taken this number as 8. So after 8 what number comes? It is 9. So 8 9 is it is 72. Now we compare 77 and 72. 77 and 72. So 77 is greater than 72. In the previous number it was smaller. So we have taken the smaller number. Now here this 77 means this number is greater than this number and therefore we will take the bigger number. So the actual answer will be 88 and therefore the square root of 7744 will be equal to 88. Now the another number is 7396 and we have to find the square of the square root of this number. Now here we will divide this number into two parts, unit place digit, 10 place digit and draw a line. So to this side it is 73 and to this side it is 96. Just check the 73, the square of which number is closer to 73. So the square of which number is closer to 73? It is 8 8 is 64, 9 9 is 81 that will be bigger. So we will take 8, 8 8 is 64 that will be closer to 73. Now in this number it is 96 and the unit place digit is 6 and this 6 comes into two numbers 4 4 is 16 and 6 6 is 36. So the two numbers can be 4 and 6. So our two numbers will be 84 or 86. Now we can check it by actual calculation. Take the square of 84. Now you know how to take the square of 84. Square of unit place digit that is 4 4 is 16. Carry on 1. Then multiply all the three digits 8 4 and 2 so 8 to the 4 to the 8 and 8 is the 64 64 and 165 then carry on 6 of course here we see that the number we are getting is 56 and here it is 96 so this 84 is not possible so our answer should be 86 so the square root of 7000 396 should be 86. Now take the another method to check whether the answer is 84 or 86. Now this digit is 8. After 8 the number comes that is 9 and it will be 9 8 the 72. Now compare 73 this number 
and 72. So 73 is greater than 72. This 73 is greater than 72 and therefore we will take the bigger number. So 86 square that will be equal to 7396. And therefore the square root of 7396 is 86. Now take the another number which is 5 digit number 15376. Here also we will divide the number in two parts. After two digits draw a line. Unit place, 10 place then draw a line. Here we got 153 and to this side we have got 76. Now check for a number whose square will be closer to 153. So 11 square will be 121, 12 square will be 144 and 13 square will be 169. 169 will be bigger. So 12 square is equal to 144 will be closer to 153 and therefore this number we will take as 12. Now in the another part the unit place digit is 6 and therefore 4 square is 16 unit place digit is 6 6 square is 6, 36 so unit place digit is 6 so these two numbers can be 124 or 126. Now whether it is 124 or 126 that will be checked by the second method that is 12. After 12 what number comes? It is 13. Now 12 multiplied by 13 that is equal to 12 threes are 36, carry on 3, 12 ones are 12 and 3 15. So it will be 156. Now compare these two, 153 compared to 156. So 153 is smaller than 156 and therefore we will take the smaller number that 124 square that will be equal to 15,376 and therefore the square root of 15,376 is 124. Friends generally the questions asked in the examinations are like this square root of 15,316 plus 15% 15 of 1600 is equal to how much or it may be like that 24% of 2600 plus square root of 576 minus 256 is equal to question mark or it may be like this square root of 48,441 minus 12% of question mark minus 24 is equal to 5678 in this way the different types of questions are asked where you have to find the square roots of the given numbers it may be three digits it may be four digits or it may be five digits now friends you have seen how to find the square root of the given numbers which is very essential to crack the examination now we will see how to calculate the cube root of the given number. Friends, before finding the cube root, we must know the cube roots of the numbers from 1 to 10 that we know by heart. But we should know the cube roots unit place digits by heart. Of course, 1, its cube will be 1, so its unit place digit will be 1. Here it will be 8, here it will be 7, here it will be 4, here it will be 5, 6, 3, 2, 9 and 0. These are the unit place digits of the cubes of the numbers from 1 to 10. 
Now we will see how to find the cube root of 19,683. Here we will divide this number into two parts. First we will take the three digits and here we will draw a line. So in the first part it is 19 and in the second part it is 683. Now here the 683 the unit place digit is 3. So check for the cube whose unit place digit is 3. Here 343 its unit place digit is 3 and it is a cube of 7. Correct? So we will take 7 here. Now 19 another part is 19. This 19 lies between 8 and 27. It means this 19 lies between 2 cube and 3 cube. Correct? This 19 lies between 2 cube and 3 cube and therefore we will take 2 and therefore the cube root of 19683 is 27. It is so simple friends. Here the next number is 29791 and we have to find cube root of this number. Divide this number into two parts, unit place digit, 10 place digit and 100 place digit. After three digits draw a line. Now it is divided into two parts. The first part is 29 and the second part is 291. In the second part the unit place digit is 1. So check for 1 it is a unit place digit of a number whose cube is 1 is 1 that is 1 cube is 1 so the unit place digit is 1 and so we will take 1. Now check for the 29 it lies between the squares of which two numbers 29 it lies between 27 and 64 3 cube 27 4 cube 64 and therefore it will lie between 3 cube and 4 cube so we will take 3 here and therefore the cube root of 29791 is 31 Friends, you need not to memorize this table. Just you should num know the cubes of these numbers from 1 to 10. That's enough. And you will be able to do. Practice it more and you will automat automatically learn all these numbers. Friends, I hope you must have enjoyed this. If yes, please like it, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel so that you will get all the details right into your mailbox and if by any other reason you dislike it please give your views through comments so that we will try to improve because there is always a room for improvement thank you very much friends you might have enjoyed this video then go to thumbs up button and click. Then go to share tab and share with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and many more. And to get the updates right in your mailbox, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.